Okay. <laughs> Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great. So I'm actually at the International Marketplace today and I got invited to um, one of their special events. It's actually their fifth anniversary of um, the opening of the International Marketplace. So they actually have like a bunch of um, events going on in the month of August. So it's definitely a place that you guys want to check out, especially if you got you guys are coming to Hawaii and you're in Waikiki. Sorry if it's kind of loud here, but I got this miso butterfish from Eating House by Roy Yamaguchi. So let's go and take a bite out of this. Let's go and take that perfect bite right here. Whoa. Wow. Wow, this is really good. When you look inside, you can see the marinade actually went right through. This is the most flavorful butterfish that I've ever had actually. You know what I wish? I wish it was like a big bowl of this stuff. <laughs> Even the vegetables, filled with flavor. Let's see what else they have to eat here. Okay, so next up, I got this non-alcoholic drink and this is called the Blackberry Fizz. So let's go and drink some of this right here. Mm. Wow, this is really good. So I'm actually allergic to alcohol. That's why I got it non-alcoholic. But man, like so far the food is really, really good. And this is actually from Moani Waikiki. And um, I'm guessing it's one of the, the restaurants up in the international marketplace. So let's go and take a bite out of this right here. So this is their watermelon shrimp salad. Look at the presentation of this. Some of this avocado. Mm. There's like a citrus vinaigrette on this. And let's try some of this watermelon. This is a really nice and refreshing salad actually. Mm. That shrimp, oh. Super, super plump. That's actually a really big piece of shrimp that I just bit into. So I met some new friends on from uh, social media. Hi! Say hi everybody. You guys wanna go and uh, give them your, your uh, usernames on Instagram? I'm Fabulous Eats. Uh, I'm Five Foot Foodie. And I'm Hungry Hunnis. <laughs> So make sure you go and follow them all on Instagram. Okay, so next up we have this ahi tuna roll from Strip Steak, which is also another restaurant in the international marketplace. I got two of these. That ahi tuna roll was actually really, really fresh. So there's a nice citrus jalapeno um, sauce over it. So I definitely recommend that too. And you know, I think like a lot of these restaurants really go and feature some of their best dishes. And um, I'm actually gonna go and get more food. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got more food. So more of this. I got some more of that ahi roll right here. Mm. So after this, we're gonna go and take a walk around the international marketplace. So this is for all of you who haven't been here before and you're wondering what the international marketplace looks like. But before that, I'm gonna finish all of this. Let me know in the comments down below if you've been to the original international marketplace before. Oh, oh no, I dropped it. Oh, so there's actually one more place that I didn't get to uh, get food at yet. And this is the Kuhio Avenue food hall. So I wonder if I can go and put all of this in my mouth in one bite. Let's try it. Mmm. No, I thought that was going to be soggy. But that chip on the bottom was so nice and crispy. So let's try this slider right here. So it looks like there's a piece of... Uh, pineapple in here too. Mm. 
This is really good. <laughs> That slider was so good. I'm gonna go and get another one. Actually, I got two more. So this is like a Hawaiian style of slider, basically. We got pineapple in here. We got some onion in there. And then there's cheese and teriyaki sauce. This is delicious. So if you haven't been to any of these restaurants before, I highly recommend it. So today we had Eating House by Roy Yamaguchi. He also has the original Roy's restaurants. So if you're into, you know, fine dining, definitely go and check out his food. And there's actually strip steak here and Moana Waikiki too. And they said that they just opened like, like a week ago. So they're basically brand new at the international marketplace. So there's actually a lot of different food choices that you can choose from at the international marketplace. So when you guys come here, definitely go and check all these places out. But we're going to go and take a quick walkthrough of the International Marketplace now. So watch to the end. So that was a quick walkthrough of the International Marketplace. So if you're in Waikiki, definitely go and check them out. They have a variety of great restaurants that you can go and choose from. And thank you so much to the International Marketplace and Cheyenne for inviting me to this private event. I really appreciate it. If you guys like this type of content, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos just like this. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, follow me there. I'm gonna go and leave all of my information in the description box down below. Thank you so much. I'll see all of you next week. Bye. Hey everybody, so I'm back. So I wanted to do a review of my experience at this event at the International Marketplace. So first off, I'm super, super grateful, you know, even to be invited to this and to be considered to, you know, like, you know, join this 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 private event. You know, to be honest, I was like really, really nervous for this. I'm like an introvert, you know? Like, I don't really do networking things. Like, I just kind of keep to myself. And I, I'm just like some, some dude off like the streets making videos and putting them on the internet. Like, it, it's, it's just like, oh wow. Like, I got this, uh, this message on Instagram and they're like, oh, do you want to come to this thing, you know? And I was like, Oh, you know, like, do I go? Do I not go? But my main driving force is actually to set a good example for my son. You know, I hope you guys learn from this as well, as much as I did. You know, I, I think like we really have to get outside of our comfort zone. And for me, if I just went and declined this invitation and, you know, it wouldn't set a good example for my son when he gets older. Like if he wanted, if you know, like if he wanted to do something or somebody invited him to something and he didn't want to do it because he was an introvert like me, it wouldn't really help him grow. I want to be able to do things and have my son look at me and be like, man, I want to be like my dad. I want to be able to go and grab the bull by the horn. That was like the real main driving force to help me go to this event. And 
you know, sometimes I'm kind of like a deer in the headlights, you know, like I meet these like people, I'm like, oh my God, they got so many followers on Instagram and all this kind of stuff. And you know, I'm just like a nobody, right? <laughs> so it's kind of like, wow, that's so cool. I get to kind of meet these people that are on TV and whatnot. And you know, everybody was super nice there. And I'm just so, so grateful that I was um, invited to this. So um, Cheyenne, if you're watching this, um, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. But yeah, so that was kind of like, uh, you know, my, my review of my experience. Like, you know, I had a good time. Everybody was really nice. And I'm really glad that I was able to go and, you know, take this challenge on for, for, for me. You know, because I know for a lot of people, they might not see it as a big deal. But for me, deep down inside, I'm, I'm a big introvert. You know, like I kind of just keep to myself. I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> so yeah, I pat myself on the, on the shoulder. For you guys... You know, I hope you guys step out of your comfort zones, whatever that may be, and challenge yourselves to grow. And you know, growing is not comfortable. And you know, if you put yourself through things that are uncomfortable, you're just gonna get more resilient and stronger. So that's kind of like my thoughts for today. But thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys see me around, please say hi. That really means a lot to me. So thanks, thanks again. I'll see you guys, bye.